Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another uh, rolling commentary. This one's gonna be at 80% speed. My first roll was Daryl. And obviously you can tell he's a purple belt and he is under Delua Cartagena um, with A-Force BJJ and New Braunfels. And so right here, I'm trying to keep my head uh, straight with his in order to throw his uh, sense of direction off. Um, I think, yeah, I ended up coming up into pulling guard because I felt I could trap the leg into a half guard type situation. Obviously, I'm trying to trap his uh, his right thigh right now from sliding past into like a knee cut position. But we have this grip fighting thing going on right now. I think we were talking through some, some details real quick before we started going again. So I sensed that he was trying to go for that right arm to try to pin it, to try to attack maybe the other arm, but um, he ends up knee slicing into side control. Um, at this point, I felt that he was going to try to go to mount, so I end up sticking that foot up. Um, at this point, I am trying to go for this side control escape that I like doing, um, but I wasn't quite able to reach his foot. Um, it only works if you reach that foot and you got to do a couple other things, but it doesn't end up working out. He ends up just picking me up and, and coming into a, an armbar type position, neon belly armbar. Looks like he's got good control here. I think he was trying to let me work a little bit. Um, and then, I mean, I can sense the that the armbar is coming, and so I think I catch his ankle at this point um, so that I'm able to swing up and hopefully stop his arm bar. Yeah, it looks like I, I caught that ankle and then that leg ends up peeling off and then I come up into like a leg drag position. He does a good job of grain being out and so now I'm stuck in his guard. We pull the match a little more centralized so that we can center, slap bump, and we're going again. I'm getting my grips on his lapel. He's got his grip. At this point, he's trying to grab my collar, and I was trying to avoid him from getting it. He's trying to stand up on one side, but he ends up he ends up blocking that side. I end up trying to throw my knee on the inside for the log pass split. At this point, I think I mean, he's got his knee shield in, and it's almost like a an open half guard type type situation. So on that one, he would have swept me had I not continued to, to bring my foot back. I didn't do a really good job of, of taking his grips off because as soon as he's got grips, um, you can see on my left knee and then he's got my belt. Um, I think I sensed that it, he was about to sweep me to the right side. So I think right here I'm trying to stay heavy at this point on my left because I sense that it, the sweep's coming. He ends up getting the lapel out from that side, feeds it to the other side through the back. And here I'm just trying to pin that one so that he doesn't end up getting a, another grip, but he ends up switching his hips really nicely and gets the sweep. Comes up in a side control. Obviously you see him pushing his weight into me. That's it's always uh, good to do when you're in side control. He comes up into a neon belly, um, and he ends up pinning that arm for a little bit. Almost comes into like a, a type of north-south position, almost like a reverse scarf fold. And then we end up back in side control. I think there I was trying to get momentum, but he does a good job of keeping my weight down and stopping that. So 
So there I have the, the leg that I want, but doesn't end up going right. Probably should have gone to a different type of side control escape it there. He ends up peeling that foot off, gets him out, throws his grapevines in. And yeah, here I'm in trouble at this point. I think he was searching for a Kimura, wrist lock, or arm bar, Americana, any of those. I think he was searching for them. And I think he ends up getting one right here. Yep. He ends up getting that uh, left hand Kimura, or Americana, sorry. So we start again. He starts seated this time. I think here I was trying to go for a Skywalker pass because this is the grip that I need for it. Um, ended up coming up into a, a knee slice tight position, semi headquarters. Um, he almost got my back right there, but I was able to turn. Um, although he ended up on top, he did not get my back. So I think at this point I'm trying to get his knee down so that I can come up into a better form of half guard. Um, but his, his top pressure just keeps going. He tries to search for that arm right there, but I keep trying to uh, to make sure my grips are peeling it off. I guess I could have gone for, for a deep half type situation right there. I, don't, I can't really tell how the configuration was, but I know deep half is something I've been trying to work on more and more lately, so... Looks like I could have gone for it there. I think that was the bell right there. And that was my first roll. All right, so here's my second roll of the day, and I'm going against Leroy. He's a brown belt at GFT San Antonio. And he is under black belt Bruno Alves. So right here, I, I tried to make sure I had that grip on his on his left leg. He ends up getting the sweep. I felt the bolo at this point, but I think my hips tried to stay heavy in order to avoid it. I think I tried for a toe hold right there, but he ended up spinning too quickly, so I couldn't I couldn't get the timing of it that quick. So right now I have a a whizzer on his underhook side. We end up going into a semi-dog fight. He ends up pushing me back down. I think he's weaving his legs through my legs right now in order to get to a side control or leg drag position. And he ends up back stepping into almost a half guard position. And he's got his knee past mine, so at this point I'm I'm in trouble. Keep trying to frame. Probably should have figure forward my legs right there. He ends up stepping over. And I tried to capture it, but I couldn't. I grabbed his belt at this point, tried to swing him over. He had good balance and I couldn't couldn't do anything. So I ended up going into a half guard. He's got the underhook on my offside, so I wasn't able to move the way I wanted to. I got my lockdown in, and then right there, I'm able to get to an underside, uh, underhook, and then I grab his belt. He pulls his leg out of my lockdown, and he ends up smashing for the tap. I think he had his, uh, his right arm on the backside, and his left arm was going forward uh, towards the beginning of my neck, so front of my neck. So, um, so here I'm trying to keep the my forehead into him and he ends up coming back into an open guard position. I'm trying to pin that knee and then he ends up getting a grip. Tried to come into a headquarter position and I'm trying to keep his weight from either exploding up or being on his back. He ends up framing that leg on me and he almost, I think I had his leg pinned here and then his other leg isn't able to help him uh, close his guard. 
but he ends up controlling that knee. I backstep into side control. Um, I know the video kind of cuts out right here, but I think he was going for a buggy choke right there. He ends up going for the underhook, swimming for my leg. He ends up capturing it, goes into the half guard. He throws his lockdown in. I think he got my hips up at that point. And at this point, my hands are on the mat. I think I'm trying to float past at this point, but. So he ends up getting into side control. And I ended up having his arm in between my legs. At this point, I was trying to go for a bicep slicer variation that I know of, but he, I couldn't quite get my foot where I needed it to. I needed my right foot to come in between and then my left foot to figure four, but I was never able to get to a good position to get that footing. So Tried to flip over my backside, and he does a good job of staying balanced. I end up shrimping the other way to try to turn towards him. And he, of course, he takes out his lapel. I'm doing. I'm trying anything at this point to stay in front of him. Um, end up getting into turtle. Of course, he gets his lapel again. Tried to fall back into a half guard. Um, I tried to maintain that wrist control for as long as I could. Wasn't really sure what I was going for at this point, but I think, yeah, I tried to grab the belt and go for like a a half butterfly type sweep, but he maintains his balance. So now we're in like a quarter guard. His knee's pretty much out and he's, for him, it's three quarter mount. He ends up pinning that, and then he ends up going into mount. At this point, I try to trap that foot, but I end up missing his foot uh, for the trap and roll. He throws his grapevines in, and I think at this point, uh, my my mindset was uh, less on on the leg action and then I think I was more in the mindset of trying to get my hands on his hips in order to uh, maybe go into a butterfly type position or a single leg X. So he ends up pinning one of my arms down. I think the wrist lock was right there. I think Either he let it go or he wanted to let me continue working. There, I think I tried to bump his hips off. And I tried to swing the other way to get momentum. You see his feet underneath my hips. Um, you know, that, that does a real good job of immobilizing me and not allowing me to do what I want to do. Bell rings, shake hands, tough match as always. Ooh, sir, Jesus. All right, guys, so this is my last roll of the day. This is Christian. He's a purple belt under Delua Cartagena at A4 BJJ in New Braunfels. So we slap, he starts seated, I start standing. I think I tried to go to a a headquarter position and he ends up getting a reverse de la Hiva uh, sweep. We end up coming into this this leg entanglement where I think I was trying to come up on top in order to defend any type of ankle lock he was about to do. Um, he does a good job of framing me with his knee right here and keeping uh, my other leg away while he, while he gets his grips. At this point, again, I'm trying to pin his knee as much as I can to immobilize that. 
He ends up getting my ankle for an, so, sort of like an ankle pick sweep. And we come up into another leg entanglement. I don't remember. Oh, he ends up coming up and trying to backstab. I think I tried to shrimp out from it. I could feel him at this point trying to go for my legs. So I was trying my best to just hide all I could. He goes to side and then into mount. Throws a grapevine there. Again, sorry for the camera angle. It's, it's kind of just the way it happens sometimes. So he ended up tapping me there with something. I think it was a... I think it was a, some sort of arm bar. Um, I think in the half guard, I think I left my arm out a little too extended and he ended up snatching it up and, and getting a, a modified arm bar on me. So we slap, we slap bump, he starts seated again. I'm trying to avoid him getting grips at this point while I'm trying to make sure I'm getting mine. He does a good job of framing my legs. Again, I'm trying to fight his legs to come into a Headquarter position or a, or a knee slice position. He ends up coming into a, a De La Riva type guard. I try to do the leg weave pass again at this point. I'm trying to smash his legs down. But he does a good job of, of staying away from me. He ends up grabbing my belt here. And looks like he has a wizard on my underhook. He ends up coming out. He's trying to go to butterfly at that point. He ends up getting up and circling around. It's definitely something I need to work on for sure. So he goes to side, he goes to mount. He's in three quarter mount or quarter guard at this point for me. Um, I think I end up coming on top into a triangle type position or uh, I don't remember what he tapped me with. It might've been a, a triangle arm bar at that point. I think at one point in the match, we end up coming to a triangle position. And So right there he had reverse tail of Hiva. I know you couldn't really tell, but I think we end up circling, yep. So he ends up trying to do the Baron Bolo at that point. I try to make my hips heavy. And at this point, I feel the attack of my legs coming. So I try to get out and I try to scoop up one of his legs at this point. He ends up coming up into almost a leg drag position and so right now, right here, we're in a 50-50 position. He ends up turning to the side in order to make it an 80-20. Um, something I, I don't really see a lot, so I was very confused as to what to do in this position. Um, but he does a good job of, of getting to what he wants. So he peels my hand off, and he ends up coming to the leg for an ankle lock. I think right here we were talking about the 50-50 position and the 80-20. I think he was telling me some details on the 80-20 that would definitely help out. I think here we reconstruct, yep, we're reconstructing the 50-50. 
and he's showing me how he goes into the 80-20. And he goes into it by getting on his hip. By the time I'm able, able to get his ankle, I can't really, really reach far back and, and get anything at this point. I could maybe try and get a heel hook, but his knee is still able to move freely, so it, it wouldn't be successful. And of course, right there, I, I did the wrong thing again by turning my foot inward or outward. I guess I was supposed to turn it inward or maybe like use my other foot to escape. Tried to, he, he was trying to tell me to peel some legs off, make sure that right ankle stays hidden, use that left ankle to uh, start trying to kick off and escape. So I think here we're waiting for Leroy and Daryl to to reset. I think at this point Leroy uh, caught Daryl in the nuts, so they had to take a short intermission. Me and Christian are back at it. We slap, we bump. We're trying to fight for grips right here. Notice how as soon as I start coming in, he starts pummeling his legs in order to get the different positions that he wants. And so right here, I could already tell I was I was off balanced quite a bit. He has me in a lasso. Looks like he has my lapel also. I don't know if this would be like a, a worm guard type thing or not, but I think that was the bell right there. Anyway, guys, hope you like that. Um, I'll try to be posting a little bit more and maybe doing some more commentary at 80 speed, 80% 80 speed. Um, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscri subscribe, um, and then let me know what you want to see for the next one.